John A. Mather, honored with a plaque across the street of the house he and his wife lived in. famous photo taken in Titusville during the oil boom days hangs at the giant eagle therefore the giant eagle is shut down now because it is Easter but the most famous photo ever taken is good old Colonel Drake now if you grew up in Titusville this picture was in the school, was in local businesses, was everywhere. This picture was the most famous oil boom picture taken in this area during the oil boom. Now the artist has taken many other ones, many other ones and many other ways of taking them. When I started diving into the story I thought how cool has this guy, the way he traveled around taking very inventive. He had a traveling studio, traveling up and down Oil Creek, taking pictures of the old oil wells, the derricks, all the leases that were going on at that time during the oil boom. Pretty cool, I thought, traveling up and down, taking pictures. Insane how one man's idea and all the pictures he took. He also had a wagon traveling up and down the roads in town, taking pictures of history going on, plus the oil wells during that time, by the road, in the country, traveling in that wagon. Pretty crazy traveling, I bet. But back then, nothing was paved. McDonald's wasn't here, these houses weren't here. But the man took pictures of everything. Pretty cool, pretty cool, I thought. McDonald's was the first place I seen this famous photo. Never, ever did I thought, I want to know the man or about the man who took this picture. But as I got older into history, eh, it got to me. And doing these vlogs, I do a lot of history stuff. Therefore, I had to find out who did the Colonel Drake picture at McDonald's when I was a kid. And if you were a kid growing up in Titusville, you knew this picture at McDonald's. It was on the wall when you come inside. But McDonald's, it remodeled back in that day and the picture of Drake Well disappeared. And you can't get into the McDonald's now because well, you know, they got rid of the Colonel Drake picture. They got rid of Ronald McDonald. They got rid of Grimace. They got rid of the Fry Kids. They got rid of everything. It's black in there. Now I know this has nothing to do with the vlog I'm doing, but it always bugged me when they remodeled how bland McDonald's become because there's nothing. There's no, you wouldn't even know Ronald McDonald was part of McDonald's with the new remodel. I don't know about you, but my childhood, Ronald McDonald. Ronald McDonald was McDonald's. So when they took away Colonel Drake, they took away everything else too. But the saving grace, Giant Eagle, has brought Colonel Drake's picture back. The most famous picture. Well, I wouldn't say the most famous picture. But Titusville, one of the most famous pictures ever taken. As I stand on the Black Bridge. With more swear paint added. I won't show the swear pain. But yes, Ronald and Colonel Drake disappeared at the same time. <laughs> A lot of people fishing today. I should be fishing today. Happy Easter, by the way. Today is Easter. Mather got his studio. He was in this little building. And a fire and a flood happened. 
and it burned up almost all of his photography, except for 5,000 of them. And they are at Drake Well being preserved. Originally the Chase and Stewart block, now known as the town square, which is pretty cool. The building still stands. But as you can see up on top, you see them windows? That is Mather's atrium. When they rebuilt the building, that's where Mathers had his atrium so the sunlight could show down into his studio. And when the fire of, I'm not Wikipedia, but I think it was a fire of 2015, burnt that whole floor and when they remodeled, they had to get rid of all those windows. Crazy how that corner has just been plagued with fire. And I should mention, the building right down from it also was plagued by fire. If I can zoom in, there is no roof, there is no floor. That is all just brick. There's nothing holding that up but them walls right beside Missy's Arcade. There's a bunch of placards around town that have historical markers on it. That's just one. So I decided I'm going to do a little little series. Pepper them in every now and then. John A. Mather is the first one of the plaques in town. I believe, don't quote me, I'm not Wikipedia, but there's either 12 or 16 around town that I will be documenting on my vlog as people look at me as I got the camera in my face. Volkswagen Beetle. But anyway, I'm gonna start doing that. Every now and then throw in one of the plaques and why they're up in Titusville. There is a walking tour. You can hit every one, they are numbered. I wish I could remember the number of them. But I'm gonna start putting that in every now and then. What these plaques mean. It's just fitting for my channel. It's history. Everybody loves history. Come on. <laughs> uh, I get these are for protection. But when I put it on, I feel like I need to be a doctor. Or I need to do something illegal. I don't know. Is that just me? Or is that just how I think? Here you go, Dr. Rosen Rosen. Hold my spleen. And this elbow. You go home. I'll be under your bed. I need to go because I'm tired. I just work six days straight. And what? The, I just work six days straight. So I'm a little woozy. So I'm going to go home, edit this, and upload it. And I'm not going to work tomorrow because I'm tired. One is the most famous out of his collection. I get it, it's Colonel Drake and some guy. They don't really say what guy it is, they just say it was a friend of his. I don't know, that I don't know. But, there's a red light. That is historical. It is the most famous picture that he has. Now he honestly has way more. He has pictures. And if you're from Titusville, you know what I'm talking about. Mystic Park, where people would go out and boat and swim. I have to get out there and do something with that because that just seems like a cool place to go vlog. I know, I know, I mean, I'm crazy with this stuff. Cool how curiosity can make you do something and I did my best Jim Rockford. I looked into it. I found out who the man was. So he'd be my first plaque guy. That's not right. Plaque guy. He would be my first plaque vlog. There is more around town I will hit. I will throw in every now and then. Just because it, it's, it's, it's only the proper thing to do. I mean, you live in a historical town like I do. Come on. You got to do that. But thanks for watching. Thanks for being having me be a small part of your day. And check out my store in the link below for my, all my merchandise. Two more months.
I'm changing that design. That's it. The ones will be discontinued while the one will be discontinued. Have a good week. I'll see you next week with a new vlog. All brand new. And hopefully, well, it probably will be something with distancing away from people because it's still going on, people. So stay safe. I'll see you next week.